Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay, guys. Greg Lynch, Durham, PA here, Mr. Popsit. We have a pretty good sized blackhead here. You can see that open os there, which is where the dead skin oxidizes. And you can see um, turns into a little plug and gets a little darker. And then there's a little pocket of sebum there, which is our uh, dead skin cells mixing together with oil. And you can see how it's raised up from the side. It's good to, we'll make just a little tiny cut here at the top and then we can express out those contents. This one is, is a large blackhead, probably transitioning just in kind of encapsulating a little bit into a follicular cyst. If we don't get it all out, sometimes we end up doing a small excision later. We'll see how much comes out with uh, a little bit of pressure that we apply. So we'll get them a little bit numb and be back in just okay, a second. Okay, guys, we have them nice and numb here. We can see that open pore right there. And we're just going to do a little cut along here. So open that up. So we're going to apply a little pressure here, and we're going to see all these dry contents come out. And this is just years past dead skin cells. A lot of good pressure from underneath there, and you can see... That is keratin. Get kind of deep there. Now sometimes we can grab the sack out of there too and it kind of pops right out. I'm gonna try. If it's pinching a little, just let me know, okay? We'll put some more in for you. We can see there is a sack there. There we go. Sometimes the sacks are pretty firm and they come out in one piece and sometimes you gotta wiggle them a little. That one's coming up. Tug in there, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Good. It is coming out. And so you can see that blackhead was kind of starting to encapsulate, getting a nice little sack there. We're gonna just pop that sack out, do a little cautery, and he's good to go. Right about there. Perfect. So that's the whole sack right there. See how it's thinned out once that wall is burst. It's kind of stretchy, but we squeezed everything out and then we removed that sack. I'm going to give them just a little more. You can see that pocket's real small. We just made a two millimeter cut there. I'll cauterize that close. He doesn't even need a stitch for that. That's going to heal great. So he did great. Let me just get a little bit more numbing for him. I didn't know if you wanted to see it or not. <laughs> yeah, let me check it out. Yeah, there's the sack right there. So that's pretty interesting. It's a good size, almost a full centimeter. Uh, yeah, very gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's always, it is a little gross. It's you're not used to song. seeing that every day. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. A little pinch here. I'm just going to go a little deeper. A little bit there. So always look in there, I do not see any sack left. You can see, it looks great. So this is a good way to remove small cysts. I'm cauterizing the bottom of that pocket with the heat, we get what's called wound contracture. Kind of closes it in on itself. Kind of like, you know, 1800s, if you got a, uh, a little arrow wound, <laughs> they'd pull it out. You'd have a little hole there, and they stick in a hot poker, and it mm. sears it closed just like that. They probably gave you a little whiskey, though. We didn't do that for him. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. 
So we'll put just a little tiny pressure bandage on there, a little Band-Aid, and it's just a two millimeter small scab now. So thanks to him for sharing. Thanks for popping by, and that's just a quick removal of a large blackhead transitioning to assist. Thanks again.